in Fantasy Life News. Ooh, fantasy. Submitted by Sheila from Singapore. I mean, Sheila from Singapore. There's uh, explanation points. <laughs> <laughs> fantasy fan transformed himself into an elf with $32,000 worth of plastic surgery. Oh my god, so he got the pointy ears. $32,000? Of plastic surgery. Is it reversible? Plastic so, surgery usually isn't. So they're just a, a permanent elf now? He could have spent like 10K and got really dope prosthetics that he could put on whenever he felt like it. $32,000, that's a, that's a decked out Kia Soul. Damn. He could only work one, like one month yeah. out of the year. He paid to be outcasted. There was that <laughs> other dude that paid a lot of money in the Philippines to look like Superman, right? There's a lot of people all over the world paying to look like a lot of things. Uh, pursue your dreams, but some people just shouldn't. Don't, don't sleep anymore. <laughs> Wake up. No, I mean, this one, it's like... Or maybe you know. the brochure he was presenting was just fucked up. Like, the plastic surgeon was like, here are all the ears that we offer. <laughs> nice like, ears, whatever ears, elf ears. And he was like, oh, give me that one. <laughs> That's new. You know, like, in these situations, too, like, I think, like, for me, when I say, yeah, you do you, whatever. It means that, it doesn't mean that I don't think it's fucking weird as fuck. It's just, I don't care enough. To, it's not going to ruin my day, is what I mean. Yeah, I mean, mm -hmm. I'm going to have an opinion about it. Definitely not gonna ruin my day. Like when some people see stuff like this, right? They look at it like that fool's a fucking moron. It's like, hey, chill, <laughs> you know? Yeah, like, no. yeah, he's fucking weird, but all right, whatever. He no. wants to be an elf, an angel, and a fantasy being. That his aim is to look inhuman, graceful, and dumb. Mm -hmm. So like a character from Legend, maybe, or maybe Lord of the Rings. So this is what he looked like before. Makes sense already. Oh, he already looks like an elf. And he looks good there. Yeah, Legolas. He looks like, like, a, he looks like a pretty fuckboy. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I feel like a lot of girls would like hit him up. He's pretty. Oh, man. Oh, shit. Howie. His surgeries. Oh! oh. oh. Holy guaca fucking moly. He looks like Lord of the Ring character. Yeah. He looks like from the Elven clan. How do you get your fucking ears so, like that? There wasn't a report of him actually having his ears like done. done like that. So I think these are still like cosplay things. Uh, like prosthetics. So where did the 38,000 go? So I'll tell you in a second. There's a whole list of surgeries. He has good features. He literally could have just dyed his hair. That's him? Good. Yeah, it's him. He just looks like a Korean guy. Like a model, like a like a high fashion model. Yeah, yeah. yeah. He looks like a Korean dude. Oh, kind of like that Barbell model. The blonde chick. Like the same kind of look. Oh, shit. This is not bad plastic surgery. I thought it was going to be some weird, like, I was like, oh, he just looks like a really pretty guy. Oh, like the Brazilian dude wanting yes. to become a K-pop star. Yeah, like he looked oh, weird as fuck. Yeah. If those ears are real, though, that's kind of yeah. extreme. So this is a laundry list of things he's done. So he's uh, done liposuction on his jaw, a nose job, full body hair removal. He's had more than 40 fillers. Uh, he's laser laser skin bleaching to remove freckles. That just sounds like a dude from West Hollywood or something. Uh, Botox know. and he got his eye color changed. Oh shit! How do you do that? They could do that shit. Medically unapproved. So far, this treatment. Um, he changed his eye color from a honey brown to a crystal blue, but as of right now, they're gray because they still have to. He still has to have more procedures to get him crystal blue. Oh, gray is pretty cool though. That sounds fucking yeah. painful. Yeah, they don't use any anesthesia, so it's a really painful process. Oh, I'm okay off that then. You're saying like for the recovery, you need like eye drops and you need extremely black sunglasses. <coughs> He said that initially watching the stars in the sky was painful, but then three days later he felt normal. Um, so he says he spends about $5,000 every month just to maintain his look, which is bleaching his skin and hair. He uses SPF 100. So does David. Yeah, but I got dark as fuck though. Like in Hawaii, like when we were out there, I put SPF 100 and I still came out caramel. But did you burn though? I did. Oh. Not as bad as last time though. So it helped out a lot, actually. Did you apply it every two hours? Yeah, I did not. see, that's the important part. It's, Thank you. It was like every hour or so. But then, you know, when we go snorkeling, we're having so much fun. I'm not going to go back on land to put some fucking pussy ass fucking SPF 100. Hang on, guys. Yeah. <laughs> so I stayed out there and I got roasted. That's what happened. And that's what you get. <laughs> yeah, so he also buys contact lenses and makeup and hair care products. He's planning on having surgery to make his ears pointed, his jaw to look more sharp like a diamond. His jaw already looks sharp. Uh, he wants a facelift, an eye lift to have a cat-like cat shape. 
He wants to get hair implants for a harsh heart shaped hairline. Yeah, like he a widow's peak widow's type peak. of thing? Yeah. Yeah. Like a crazy ass Dracula one yeah, though. Yeah, and instead of being a short elf, he wants to have he wants to have a limb lengthening operation to make him six feet. Six feet five inches. That's fucking huge. I know people have done that in Korea back in the day, where they would they would take their femur, chop it up, and they put yeah. metal brackets in between, and they would lengthen them up only to a certain extent. Though yeah. you couldn't go like crazy long with it, but you it's it's very fragile, so you can't actually do a lot of the things that you want to do. Like even I think like running too fast will make it snap or some shit. So I'm yeah. I'm good off of that. I know a lot of um, women in China do that too, just to like get like better job. A good job position. Ah, oh, see, that's ridiculous, though. He's gotta get steeper heels. Yeah, because no, because like there's like a apparently there's like a height and weight requirement in order for you to apply to like whatever jobs that they're applying to, and so it's like, oh, you need to be at least this tall to to be a part of it, like without heels. So just like get a different Wait, job. It's like a model gig. Um, I think it was like they're applying for like secretary jobs. What the or fuck do you like need that? to be tall for, for as a secretary? What the hell? We have um, filing cabinets all the way to the top only. <laughs> but that's why I need you to be tall, okay? Like, what the fuck? We don't believe in ladders. Secretaries are one of the first people um, that other people Yeah, but see. they're like, sitting. Yeah, they're sitting. <laughs> they do that in Asian countries, though. Like, have you noticed the Asian flight attendants? They're always hot and young. Because yeah. there's like an age limit. As soon as you get to a certain age, they kick you out. But if you go to the American Airlines, they have a seniority system. So they're always old. Like, the older you are, the more secure your job is. So it's like, it's way different. I man, ugh, this fucking, this world that we live in, bro. It's yeah, absolutely he insane. finished. He also wants to get four of his ribs removed to have a thinner waist. So he can get, mm -hmm. suck his own. Mm -hmm. And he also wants to get muscle implants. What? That's so counterintuitive. Take out your ribs, chop up your legs and get muscle implants? So he's saying that when he was a kid that he was bullied a lot. So this is gonna prevent him from getting bullied. It just makes it easier for them to kill him now. <laughs> you know? So as a child, he was bullied. So he used like these fantasy tales as an escape from all the abuse. Abuse? He says that he would submerge himself in fantasy movies like Labyrinth and The NeverEnding Story. Oh, the one with that fucking weird dog dragon. Yeah. Yeah. That's, My God. That's God. Yeah. Dog. He doesn't shoot fire out of his mouth. This is such a bad idea for him. Like, Can't he just go on forums and meet other like-minded people that likes the stuff that he likes and just stay? Well, he says that he loves, um, he loves it when people stare at him now. Like, he, he wants the attention. I was about to say, maybe he missed the bullying. Like, yeah. My life, it just doesn't feel right. People are nice to me and shit. Yeah, because now, like, what he's what he does for a living, uh, he sells costly merchandise, he models, and he's also paid to make appearances as a real-life elf at events. I was thinking, like, Christmas elf this whole Yeah, thing. so was I. <laughs> yeah, when you say it only work, oh, like, once a year, I was like, Nope, that's not, that's not the kind of Dude, some of these cosplay people, there's a girl I follow on Twitter. Mm -hmm. uh, her cosplay is in fucking insane, dude. Like, yeah. she, she's like both. She could do guy or girl. So when I see her stuff, it blows my fucking mind, dude. Yeah. Oh, she won't notice me. I, hope, I want her to notice me. Well, just say her name. Give her a shout out. I actually don't remember her name. Oh, my I just followed gosh, her real quick. David. And I don't know her Twitter name either. I just see her pop up on my feed. And I'm like, that's dope. She that's probably dope. won't ever notice you, though. Yeah. Co cosplay people are, like, full of themselves. Yeah. <laughs> They're like, yeah, I'm the shit, yo. Yeah. It's like, hey, how's it going? Yeah, nice try. What the fuck? Bitch, I got more followers than you. <laughs> he said that when he was 14 years old, that's when he was determined to get surgery. And at the age of 20 is when he had his first surgery. And he's not planning on stopping there. So. Do people date him? Does he have like a boyfriend or girlfriend? Yeah, that's a stuff? good question. He's saying that he wants to be like a trans species. Oh god, there's so many categories now. Now we have trans species. He says that he considers himself trans species. In the same way transgender people feel, I need to become how I feel inside. I don't expect people to understand, but I ask they respect it. I respect it. Respect the pouch! Respect it! Yeah, he says, I don't consider this an obsession, but in fantasy, you have to have all the hope, love, friendship, and good feelings. This helps me to feel like a good person, but in fantasy, you have to be beautiful, not only on the inside, but on the outside, too. This has changed my life for good in so many ways, I can't even begin to describe it. Yeah. If he's happy, that's why in the beginning of this story, I was just like, eh, you do you, man. Well, that's what I'm saying. It's like one of those things where it's like, that's fucking weird, but all right. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like, man. I accept you, but you're probably gonna get fucked Dude, up. Just like one flick on his rib, he just explodes. Hey, what is going on, JK News fans? Hope you guys liked that episode. Remember to follow our personal social medias. And of course, if you want to watch more videos, my friends, you know where to go, you cocksuckers. Right up there.